Do you think the strongest ruler in the planet can shut down this entire globe for just two days? I don't think so. But viruses can. Virus is a submicroscopic infectious agent which can only replicate inside a living cell. Some scientists actually like to consider viruses as a connecting link between non-living things and living things. Outside a living cell, a virus doesn't show any characters of life. So, a fully organized viral particle which is present outside a cell is known as a virion. When we take the structure of a virion, it actually contains a genetic material which can be a double-stranded or single-stranded RNA or DNA. And it also has a protein covering which is known as capsid. So these capsids are actually very well organized structures. And some viruses also has a lipid coating outside this capsid and such viruses are known as enveloped viruses while the latter is known as non-enveloped viruses. And this membrane is actually obtained from the host cell itself. So due to the presence of this lipid membrane, they are more sensitive towards disinfectants, pH as well as heat. For us, it's an advantage because we can actually act against them comparatively easier than the non-enveloped ones. On the other hand, the non-enveloped virus doesn't have a lipid membrane outside their capsid. So this makes them an easier target for the immune system. But it is difficult to heat kill them or use a disinfectant to wipe them out. As the enveloped virus has a lipid membrane which is actually taken from the host itself. So it can actually come out of the cell after replication comparatively easily without cell lysis. While in case of a non-enveloped virus, they actually need to break the cell in order to come out. So the cell lysis causes serious damages to our body. When a virus attacks the cell, it actually attaches to the cell and injects its genetic material inside the cell. So the genetic material can be DNA or RNA. They use host machinery to produce their own multiple copies and after producing enough number of copies, they escape from the cell and this causes cell lysis. When the infection goes out of control, the immunity kicks in and produces several factors which cause inflammation. But inflammation is like a necessary evil because it can actually produce several factors which can also damage our own cells. You might have heard about mutations and viruses are very much prone towards it. This can have serious implications when it's related to humans. That's the topic for the next video.